Mindfulness is a lot like physical fitness. Now stay with me on this. When we talk about physical fitness, we're really talking about three different things. Endurance, strength, and flexibility. And when we say that someone is physically fit, we mean that they have endurance, strength, and flexibility working together. Mindfulness is like that. It's three different things working together. Concentration, sensory clarity, and equanimity. And when we say that someone is mindful, we mean that they have concentration, sensory clarity, and equanimity working together. No matter what your natural level of fitness is, you can develop your endurance, strength, and flexibility by working out. And it's this way with mindfulness too. You can develop more concentration, clarity, and equanimity. People exercise in the gym and the more consistently they go and the more effort they put into it, the faster they see results. And it works the same way with mindfulness. The more consistent effort you give it, the better and faster you'll see results. Now, most people don't go to the gym so that they can be better in the gym they do it to improve their everyday lives outside the gym. Likewise, we don't meditate to become better meditators. We meditate to improve our everyday lives when we're not meditating. With consistent exercise, you can raise your level of baseline fitness. That is, you can raise the level of endurance, strength, and flexibility available to you all the time. With consistent mindfulness practice, you can raise your level of baseline mindfulness the level of concentration, clarity, and equanimity that is available to you all the time in your everyday life. Now let's talk about what these three skills are. Concentration is the ability to pay attention. Do you ever sit down to talk to a friend and notice that your mind gets pulled in a million different directions? You start thinking about a problem at work, or planning a project at home, or checking your smartphone. Concentration is the opposite of that. It's being able to focus on what you want to focus on. Concentration is probably the most useful skill you can possibly develop because it helps you do everything better. Can you think of anything you do, from work or school or in your personal life, that wouldn't go better with concentration? Sensory clarity is the ability to zoom in on the individual components that make up your experience. Instead of feeling angry, for example, you learn to track the mental images, the mental talk, and the emotional body sensations that make up this thing we call angry. By detangling this experience, you can learn to manage it much better. And weirdly enough, you'll find that not only does this zooming in make the unpleasant experiences less overwhelming, but it also makes the pleasant experiences more satisfying. Equanimity is a little trickier to understand, but it essentially means that you allow yourself to experience without trying to push things away or grasp onto them. For example, when something unpleasant comes up, you don't try to suppress it. When something pleasant comes up, you don't try to hold on to it. Equanimity means not interfering with your own internal experience. Increasing your level of baseline mindfulness can lead to all kinds of good stuff, less suffering, more fulfillment, a deeper knowledge of who you are, positive behavior changes, and even the ability to help other people more effectively.